This is a Klein bottle. So what this is, is it's a three-dimensional shape, and it's a bottle. Inside of here is hollow, and there's a hole in the bottom. And this hole, although it looks like the hole enters, and it goes through like this, and it just loops around, and this just becomes the hollow part. Actually, the hole goes in right here, and inside of it, it loops around like this. So, if you can picture, if you were to move your finger, or have something go across the surface, and it went inside this hole, and it's inside this tube over here on this side of the loop, and it goes around the inside surface, and now it's on the inside of this hollow part. So it would come back around to the bottom where the hole is, and it would go up the inside, so it would be on the outside of this tube. So you imagine this going all the way inside here. It's on the outside of that tube, but it's still within this hollow part. It would go up the tube, but it would run into this wall. That's because right now, this is in the third dimension. Now if this was in the fourth dimension, it wouldn't have this loop it'd be able to go straight up without looping and exit itself, go get wider, and it would loop around and go back, it'd sink right back inside of itself in the fourth dimension. But with this shape right here, if it were in the fourth dimension, instead of running into this surface right here, something moving across the surface of this inside tube would be able to go straight through or actually it would never really intersect it and it would move easily right across the outside of this tube and back along here to re-enter the hole so it's kind of a really weird figure eight loop in some ways but there's a 3D printed Klein bottle.